Hi everyone, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this video today, I'm going to do a quick review on a new paint that I came across in an antique store this past weekend down in Grafton, Massachusetts. So I found this cute little antique store. Um, they took an old um, gas station and they redid it into a co-op of all these antique vendors. And one vendor in particular had junk gypsy paint. And I fell in love with this color and I wanna use it on my most recent piece of furniture I picked up. I have a beautiful sideboard behind me and I wanted like a funky color, but not obnoxious. So I came across this color, um, it's a yellow. It's called Granny's Cornbread. I love it, you can't get much more country than that. Um, and when I open up the lid, hopefully you'll be able to see this awesome, awesome color. I'm gonna peel it back right there. It looks so funky and fun. So I'm excited to try this brand. I have never tried this paint out before. So I'm gonna give a full review of what I think about it. So stay tuned, come with me as I begin to paint this sideboard. Hi guys, I am back. I am about ready to start painting this lovely sideboard that I picked up a few weeks ago. And I was telling you guys, I picked up some new paint. It's by Junk Gypsy. Here's a close-up of their logo. I love their logo. It's an old antique truck with angel wings. It's very hippie-ish. I like it. And this color that I picked up that just drew me to this particular booth, this woman, um, she was selling a whole bunch of different colors. So if I like this paint, I might be picking up some more colors. But this one's called Granny's Cornbread, and you can guess it's a yellow. And this size, I believe it's a pint, it ran me $13.95. So it's more than what I would normally pay for paint. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be blown away by the coverage of the paint um, and how true the color is, what I'm seeing here in the container. So let's get started. I have my Klingon brush. I'm gonna be using the R20 Klingon brush. I only have one Klingon brush right now. Um, I did a full review on these brushes a couple videos back. So go check that out if you're still on the fence. Uh, of whether or not you want to buy one or you're just curious what they're all about. I did a full review of this brush and right now I'm gonna open up the container here. That is, this is such a fun color, you guys. Here's a close-up of it. Very bright. Okay, so I'm gonna get started here. So what I'm looking for when I'm painting a new piece or using um, new paint. I'm looking for coverage. It's probably the biggest thing for me. Um, how much paint am I gonna have to use um, to cover a project? Because at the end of the day, it, you know, it is about running a business, keeping my costs low. So I can already tell this is a really dry paint. What I mean by that, it's, it's like a chalk clay paint. It's already drying as soon as you apply it which is great, this means I can work really fast. Covering a piece. I hope you're getting the color here. It's going on really smooth, I like that. I'm gonna guess I would probably need two or three coats in order to cover this entire piece. So it might take that whole pint there for me to cover. And this color again is Granny's Cornbread. You can't get more country than that, huh? That's a fun name. I love when I go pick up new paints, looking at the names that people brainstorm when they select a paint color or that they name it. I would love to have that job. That'd be fun sit around and think of paint colored names. Gotta be pretty creative, some of them, that they come up with. So again, I'm really liking the color. I'm liking the coverage. So my plans for this sideboard, I'm gonna be painting it this color Granny's cornbread. I feel like I have to say that with like a twang. Granny's cornbread. 
And then the top I'm going to be sanding, which I already did, and I'm going to be staining that a dark color. And there is a piece of trim that goes on the back of this sideboard. I'll also be painting that this color. So it's going to have a two-tone look. I'm really liking this color. Okay, so now I'm going to go around my ornate pieces. It's always fun to see your color pop against ornate pieces. Again, this is going on really, really smooth. And if I look back to this area that I just started painting at the beginning of this video, it's already halfway dry. So by the time I get done painting, I can go back to my starting point and begin again. And I can do this in one sitting. Some paints you have to wait for your first application to dry before you do your second application. I'm finding with this paint and with, and with most chalk paints, you don't need to do that. I hope the color's coming through on the video. I'll bring my camera closer once I get a little more of this painted, and then you guys can see. I mean, smooth, smooth finish. It's also my Klingon brush too, which I love, love, love these brushes. Um, it's allowing me to get a super smooth finish with this first coat. I'm really liking this color. It's bold, but it's not obnoxious. Sometimes when you find a bold color, it can just be too much. This is nice. It's like a dark, dark mustard. Maybe that's what I call this, like a dark mustard color. And I might distress this piece a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. That might give it some character, some more character, some more depth to it. I want to keep this piece, even though I'm painting it, I want to keep it very rustic looking, classy. Okay, so there's my first coat that I just did along the edging here and around the frame of the sideboard. So far, I'm going to give this paint an A+. I like it. Um, we'll see how much of this container I use completely on this piece. I'm estimating I'm probably going to have to do, well, at least two coats on this piece, maybe three coats. So I'm going to keep painting and we'll do a close up shot of the paint color so you guys can see. Um, so like I said, Junk Gypsy, Granny's Cornbread, I'm going to give it an A+. I really like it. Okay, I think you're going to be able to see the color more here popping against the leg compared to the non-painted leg. Madeline, do you have my Gatorade? Yeah. Ooh, I like that color. You like this? Yeah. It's my daughter coming in giving me a Gatorade. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Do you remember when we went antiquing this yeah. weekend? Mm-hmm. That was like yesterday, wasn't it? That was on Sunday. What? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Remember when I picked out this color? What do you think? What do you like about it? I don't know. There's a, my new favorite color is yellow. Your new favorite color is yellow? Yeah. I thought it was purple, you know? It's always been purple, so. Just be careful where you're stepping. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. How much should I sell this piece for? Ooh, that. What do you think? Hmm. What would you what would you sell it for? What? Would twenty be a little bit too less? Twenty dollars? Yeah. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Twenty dollars would be too less. Okay. Not enough. Okay. But I'm sure many people out there would do appreciate you need, your pricing. Do you need it in the one hundreds or maybe like a little bit lower than that? I need a little bit higher than that. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. I love getting your perspective. 200? Yeah, we're getting there. 300? I probably wouldn't go over much more than that. Okay. Yep. 200? Probably 300s. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Because if you went into like Bob's Furniture. Yeah. 
something like that. Well, first of all, they don't have antique furniture, but they would probably sell a piece like this for at least 500 Or Jordan's furniture. Okay, got that leg done. Mom, did they already see Biscuit? I think they did see Biscuit, oh. but if they didn't, I'll turn the camera right here. There's Biscuit and Madeline hanging out with Mom. Okay, so there you guys can see the contrast between those legs from when I painted them. Ooh, I'm liking this color. Okay, so I'll be back with the finishing touches of me completely covering this sideboard, probably in two coats of this paint. And I'll give you guys a look-see, okay? Hi everyone, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. And there's Biscuit who's joining me as well. We are revealing the final look to the Granny's Cornbread Sideboard. Isn't this color gorgeous? It's called Granny's Cornbread. It's made by a company called Junk Gypsy. It's a clay and chalk paint. It's done in a matte finish. I sanded and stained the top of the sideboard in a beautiful Java color by General Finishes. And I also used their gel top coat in a satin finish. I distressed the sideboard just a little bit to let that beautiful natural wood peek through. Look at those drawers on the front. I just polished those up and I matched the stain color so they would coordinate. I just love this piece. It's now for sale on my Facebook business page along with the dimensions and price. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my latest video. Please like and subscribe. My channel is Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration.